ADS Play 101 here. Haven't done one of these in a while. Work. You know how that go. But I'm here now. And we're here to watch the EVO 2020 Games lineup reveal show featuring Mike Ross and Joey Kuehler. I hope I got his name right. So without further ado, man, I got my fish from JJ's. JJ Fish, shout out to you. And we got the Twitch live stream going. So without further ado, man, let's get started. Let's begin now. So I haven't been able to do one of these in so long, and I've been seeing this reveal for Evo 2020, and I've been like, man, I know I've been hearing some things through the grapevine. I don't know if I like it. And you know, and the people that got to know me know that I give unique perspectives on things, so I'm not just going to believe what I hear. I got to check this out myself. So without further ado, man, let's get started with this. Having me down here. Yeah, it's the so I think they're going to reveal the game about one. I'm glad you're with us. Excellent. Well, we're about to have some fun today. Yeah, so, it's going to be a really amazing show. Um, we're going to be watching let's this. Start Hopefully, off don't take right into day. it. Uh, let's let people know, myself included, because I'm, my memory sucks as I get older. Uh, when is Evo coming for 2020? Yeah, so Evo uh, is July 31st through August 2nd, 2020, and it's in the fabulous Mandalay Bay Hotel Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's a, we, we love to continue the partnership with Mandalay Bay. They've been a great partner with us and they provide an amazing experience for, for players that come to their hotel and maybe you get knocked out early in the tournament and you need something to do and you can go check out their hotel and a show and a, maybe the beach. And I know it's kind of stupid stuff. what I'm eating, Excellent. bro, but I'm trying well, to like. You know, this is EVO 2020. Last year was another big year for you guys as well. Uh, what were some of the highlight moments? Oh man, my, my favorite moment from last year was Tekken 7. Yeah. Arsenal oh, Ash yeah. winning EVO Japan and EVO World in the same year. That was so crazy. Yeah. And like I, you guys <laughs> might have seen like the picture, the viral picture of him kind of on stage winning by our great photography team and Stephanie, who actually won eSports Photographer of the Year, taking that amazing picture. So, I mean, that moment in my mind like just made Tekken a, a immortal game because it's, it's so it's such a good game and the fact that a uh, player was able to win in Japan and the U.S. the same year. It was it was unprecedented. Yeah, hearing his story was the one that stood out more than anything. That was an incredible moment. So yeah, congrats and, to and, and to come to think, he yeah. almost missed the tournament. Like right. very close to like being disqualified. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he kind of survived all odds and got there and, and got to play, and then he came to Evil World and won it too. It Amazing. was it was meant to be. <laughs> Very meant to be. Yeah, so you got some games coming out that uh, you, you want to share with me yeah, and everybody so, else watching? Uh, yeah, everyone's here to, to find out what games we're playing at EVO 2020 this year. So Exciting we're going we're gonna to make, <laughs> make some people happy. We're going to make some people sad, but we got to do it. All in a day's work. Yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, so what do you got coming down first? Are you going to make people happy or sad with this one? Well, obviously, we're going to make people happy on the first one. Okay, right? that's good. Uh, so the first <laughs> game uh, in 2020 is a the most entered game from last year. Uh, a lot of people traveled in to kind of test their test their strength of the brand new game from Nintendo, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Hey. No surprise there. <laughs> no, right? no. I mean, well, actually, it is a surprise Smash there. Me. Really? It's a surprise to me because you know you've uh, uh, Smash. You know the games have been evolving, the community is evolving um, from different games. Good luck. Yeah, Smash. <laughs> yeah. It, one thing um, I respect about Smash players yeah, so, is that they mean, really know, had to fight to get the their Smash game, game at Evo. going to be there. The fact that you know you want to open it up and let people know that oh yeah, just right off the bat. It's, like they literally cool. had to fight yeah, to I mean, get their like game at Evo. It was the first year it was in Evo, Super mm -hmm. Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it was they they're really supporting the game. They got DLC. They're on season two now, which is yes. super awesome. Mm -hmm. So six more characters I think are coming down the pipe. So mm -hmm. the game is evolving. They're patching it. It's really going to be exciting to see what happens in year two because. Mm -hmm. Year one was super exciting with the grand finals reset. Anytime I see Smash at Evo, I think it's a win for their so, community. Yeah. Glad to have them back. Just period. Year, and we hope that all the Smash because they had they, they had to fight to the get their game at yeah. Evo. Uh, I think you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you know, how how big the arena. G oh, I'm, oops, am I jumping the gun? No, no, I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I do remember seeing it last year. Yeah, the arena got hype when uh, uh, during Ultimate when they were going off. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's their game, right? And they're yeah. there to cheer it on, and it's exciting to see the top competitors play in the world. So yeah. it's like. It's, it's the world finals, so yeah. they're all going to be really hyped and excited. Excellent, man. Well, congrats. I don't know. Not, no, congrats. I don't need to congratulate anybody. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, good good stuff to the Smash game. No surprise, right? Yeah, like, yeah, Smash was the biggest game, so yeah. we have to bring it back. Yeah, that's crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> Never a million years would I have expected that, but it, it's <laughs> happening. We're living in that era now, so it's 2020. Yep. What else you got uh, uh, coming up for 2020? All right, so game number two. Is also a huge fan favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, it's played locally around the world, and 
Had a great top eight last year, very exciting. And the game is Tekken 7. Okay. So Tekken 7 is back so, this year. It's, it's got Smash Brothers and Tekken 7, obviously it's games Leroy, that it's got yeah. Julia. This is, this is have big followings, yeah. uh, have a lot of entrance, uh, uh, has a lot of popularity around it, so it's no surprise it's going to be an Evo. Game, it says some people are going to be disappointed. Uh, I wonder if they're going to take a, like a staple game off the off the list. Every single year. I mean, maybe they got some new games coming in. So you know you have a really special title on your hands when that kind of stuff happens. Well, I know we're you know we're early into the into the year right now in Evo 2020 is some time away. Uh, I do hope you mentioned that they're going to do something with Leroy, but I do not want to see the same thing happen. Well, you're, you're playing Tekken, right? You're playing Marduk and Ganryu. Uh, I was playing Marduk. I was playing Ganryu for a bit, and then I ran into no life. Wall like, of Leroy. I ran into a wall of <laughs> online Leroy's, and I say, you know what? Maybe this just isn't for me right now. Well, but if you can endure that, you can. You know, you're glutton for punishment. You're able to fight against <laughs> that army. More power to you. Congrats. I think it'll be fixed in a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, you think you're feeling it's yourself? Yeah. That's awesome. So well, I think that we're not working. I kind of yeah, pride in good health. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Your Marduk is a force, so. Gotta do it. Can no props for my gamer, you though? It's no, not bad. Your gamer is trash. It's That's not bad. Right. It's actually not real. bad. It's better than. Anyway, so <laughs> we got more bad. games coming up. What else you got coming down the All right, way? so the third game in mm -hmm. Evo 2020 mm -hmm. is a game that has been a staple for many years at Evo. It's definitely around to stay, and they're in their, I believe, their fourth season of content. And it's Street Fighter V. I think it's fifth. <laughs> Wait, Street Fighter V? Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Champion Edition. Oh, okay. So the game just basically got a brand new update that's coming out in February, mm -hmm. and uh, they added Gil and Seth and a bunch of cool new characters and whoever else they got coming down the line. Yep. And we just saw some very so exciting stuff. Even okay, so Seth is yeah, because Seth coming out this yeah. A little bit crazy because all the favorites going in, you didn't think that they were going to actually play a oddball character like Sakura. So it was it was pretty cool. Yep. And anybody uh, beforehand that was you know claiming that they knew Sakura would win, that is just completely lying. Sakura. Nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw that coming. Like I was talking about a player. Analysis you had going into that. That was a, a complete shock to everybody. Well, that's the cool part about Evo Japan is mm -hmm. they have character specialists that don't maybe can't travel to Evo World, right. and they just are like, hey, it's in my, my city. Let me go try my luck, and that's what happened, right? So mm -hmm. you get to see characters that are character specialists, like, run the table on certain characters. So it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, well, you know, again, I'm not going to say no surprise there. You know, yeah, Street yeah, Fighter no is always a staple. Right. Um, you know, and I'm pretty sure that's going to draw a huge number of entrants as well. Um, and you got a new revised version, Championship yeah. Edition, so we'll see what happens. I don't think Street Fighter Five has ever not been in Evo. With Seth or anything like hey, that. Maybe that's a gimme. I wonder what the surprise that they said. They said somebody I mean, was going to be disappointed. I want to know you're, what you're, you're what, a lifelong Honda If a game is wow. going to get taken okay. off or something. I'm just, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll address that at a later time. There you go. Uh, we'll, what, else, what else you got going? All right. Those, so those first three, I just want to say. They're, they're like, gimmies, right? They're kind of gimmies. They're gimmies, right? Yeah. So we'll just go from there. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth game in EVO 2020 is a uh, very popular versus game. And we've had the same <laughs> same grand finals two years in a row, and it would be awesome if they came back for a third year. So okay. we're looking at Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, yes, or Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you got to get that. No, I it's a big this. Z. It's I a big font. It's a big Z. All right, leave me alone. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was Dragon Ball Fighter Z this whole time. So thank you for the clarification. Yeah. So like, great with the IP, just being really famous with uh, Dragon Ball characters and showing how they work in a team format, mm -hmm. and it's really awesome. Yeah. And Sonic Fox and Goichi every year have a great final yeah. set, and I would love to see it happen again. But I hope that the new talent comes along and kind of just challenges them, right? Like, mm -hmm. I, I would like to see some more competitors in that game. But uh, if they're on their third season, who knows if they're going to do season three content. But mm -hmm. I think the people are still supporting it, so I think it's a good thing. It is, because yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Infinite and, um, suck. You know, just say congratulations to Sonic Fox or Goichi, whichever one of you win it, because that's going to be the grand finals again. Wow. Yeah. Making that prediction now. Making that prediction. Nice. R Roster Domus. <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can quote me on that one. What I, all right, we, I know we're just kind of running through these. We got a, a lot of stuff to, to get through, man. Yeah, I mean, we got. We got. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, don't don't say on it. You know, just keep it. We got four games done. We got four games left. Oh, okay. So we're like halfway through the title. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so right now, people, this, everybody should be. I think that last one, Dragon Ball, I didn't kind of. That was an unsure one for me. Like a 50-50? Yeah, it was a 50-50. Yeah, okay. well, that was a mix-up. We're happy to bring it back. All right. Now, from here on, I'm completely clueless, so go ahead. You so if your Evo up. was like only four games, those are the four games? Yeah, those, right. are, okay. those, are, those are four givens. All right, cool. Three givens. 3.5 givens. All right, so the fifth game in Evo 2020 mm -hmm. is a game that was uh, brand new last year, and it was a huge hit. We had a, 
a good 1,800 people that entered, and it was Ooh, really cool. It was old school. It was all about just poking and, and punching <laughs> and defense, and it was awesome because we don't see that in a lot of games now. Mm -hmm. And so the fifth game of EVO 2020 is Samurai Show. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. You're going as soon as you said old school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, last year a lot of about old players here. like Bai and Justin, yeah. and they were just like, we can get top eight anytime, and boom, they made <laughs> top eight, and it was super awesome. Yeah, um, I was excited too, just watching to see um, a new game come to Evo, and it's already bringing in 1,800 people. Yeah, whatever, right. all over. Everybody was challenging, and the top eight was incredible. People showing off their skills. Lots of, uh, I think there was uh, some stat about everybody that made top eight was like an EVO finalist at some point or something. That's and an awesome stat, That's really. crazy, <laughs> yeah, so. It's come full circle. Yeah. Uh, and they got their like new season two content mm -hmm. coming out. They got new characters like Genfu and it just uh, Haramaru from, uh, yes. uh, from, uh, wow. Samurai Showdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Hey, uh, don't yeah, forget, this is the They got new content, they're supporting their game, they're yeah. patching it, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so I think, uh, uh, yeah, so, I, going to be a really cool title this year. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Again, it's going to be a great top eight. And if you ain't, you got, your footsies aren't on point, you're going to have a, you're going to have a rough time. A very yeah. rough time. So, so far we got mm -hmm. Smash Ultimate. Yep. Yes. We got Tekken 7. We got Street Fighter Champion Edition. We got Dragon Ball Fighters. And we got Sam Show. Excellent. Five titles. So five down, three to go. All heavy hitters with heavy entrance. So that's that's a, that's a right. good list right there. Yeah. I want to know what the surprise was yeah. to see if people going to be disappointed go, in. Whatever else. Huh? All right. So the sixth game in EVO 2020 is a brand new title this year. It has never been at EVO. And I don't think it's going to come as a lot of shock to people, but mm -hmm. uh, it's Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Yes. Oh, dang. It's so already out. A lot of people are looking forward to this game. It comes yeah. out in the next couple of days, and the U.S. version comes out in March. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are. Looking to get into this game. Oh, the U.S. version really came awesome. out in March, so somebody else and, the, and good enough to, for people to kind of get really into but it. But they already got yeah, it in this Japan. One of those games that so I had, they already I got an advantage in Japan. Yet, Ooh. I wasn't able to get into Look at this big guy or anything like that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so many people were telling me that uh, this is the game that you got to play. Like you know, it's it's it feels great. It's you know, it's got a great uh, great mechanics, great great depth involved into it, and it looks gorgeous. So. Uh, I, I guess, like you said, once it drops uh, in March, then I'll be able to get my hands on it and see, see mm -hmm. what I think for myself. Yeah, and I mean, you're, you're a guiltier player, so I think yeah. that you might really enjoy this game. I think it's going to be uh, all the hot anime you're going to need. Yeah, it felt good to hear you say that, by the way. What, that you play Guilty Gear? Well, well speaking I mean, of Guilty Gear. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, Guilty Gear announced late 2020, so. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Well. Unfortunate for us. It's okay. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. playing it soon. Absolutely. Well, yeah, congrats to Grand Blue uh, and all the Grand Blue fans out there because I know you guys are really excited for that. I'm sorry, everybody's really excited for that. So, good choice, good choice. Yeah, for sure. So, we got three titles left. We've done five. Mm -hmm. So, the sixth game in EVO 2020 is a returning uh, game from last year. Mm -hmm. it, did, it did really well. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of A lot of souls and swords involved. Oh, okay, Soul Calibur. <laughs> and so, the Soul Calibur. game is Soul Calibur 6. Awesome. Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, we, we definitely Which is like another gimme. I mean, Soul Calibur is popular right now. It's still new. Came out, came You're still new. Soul Calibur hadn't been in EVO for like eight years. Like the last of the last version. They didn't have a, a Soul Calibur to, to play. So a lot of people That's came why. back to play Soul Calibur, and it was uh, it was really interesting to see what people do with Supers now, because Supers is a huge part of Soul Calibur. So you have the guard impact and all the guard breaks. Supers and, and Soul Calibur is stupid. So it's really exciting to see last year. That's going to be awesome, too. And good stuff. I'm too busy following the damn Street Fighter <laughs> format, fans like Tekken 7 did. Um, they messed up with yeah, that. Yeah, excellent. Man. Yeah, I think, uh, I think with Soul Calibur, it kind of just brings a different audience to mm -hmm. EVO because a lot of people that play Soul Calibur don't play anything else. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those unique games that no one really yeah. kind of duels over. So I think that... I mean, that's the way they used to do with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. You got a, sort of, a group of people with Marvel vs. Capcom that don't even... They play just Marvel vs. Capcom and don't play nothing else. So... There's a lot of games left too that are not going to make it, but you gotta do something. You gotta do. I mean, you know, as, <laughs> as doing this so many times now, I understand. You know, it's just yeah, there's just not sure. enough room for everything. So yeah, for sure. What else you got then? What All are right. the What are the last two? This is a good thing I don't so watch other people's streams and, uh, and videos because I would have they, they probably put like a spoil. We on last year because the community kind of supported for a very long time without any kind of official support, mm -hmm. and we kind of gave them a chance, and they worked out really well. They were really supportive of us and. Mm -hmm liked what we did and it kind of just boosted the whole scene and so we're happy to have back under night in birth mm. executable late <coughs> clr what 
Under night in birth. Okay. <laughs> they won't let me say Uniclair, so that's how I okay. say it. Under but it's Uniclair, I guess. That's the official title. Uniclair? Uniclair, yeah. Okay. So. Yes. Well, yeah. Was, this game was super awesome last year. The yeah. community uh -oh. really rallied behind it. Yeah, I remember when. You know, I think cross tag battle kind of brought this game year, back you know, a little bit crazy because they were super happy. a lot of and people were interested unexpected. in playing. <laughs> you know, I guess because they didn't think cross tag battle. Uh, people were paying attention. I don't know if they, they announced the cross tag battle going to be at this year's Evo. I don't see why not. But I feel like cross tag battle really helped this game. Happy to have it at Evo, right? Like we're all about the community. Because a lot of the characters in cross tag battle from Undernight Embirth been nerfed. Doing it a run back, they and they kind of like game, suck, awesome. like yeah. Hilda. Hopefully they come out with trash. Again and have a great tournament. She has an infinite, that's but she's garbage. Well, we'll see what happens with that. That's seven games. We only got. Oh, that's eight games. That's eight games. Yeah, that's eight games. Oh, right. Snaps. Oh, okay. We're out of games. Um, oh well. Okay, that's it. All right. Well then, uh, yeah. Can you run it down the list one more time for, right, for so everybody got, that you know? Some got, people right now are just watching. Yeah, just you know, they in. just skipped. They just skipped it. You know, they just skipped mm -hmm. up past everything. They're yeah, like, well, what's, sure. what's what's going on? So, so game number one is uh, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Mm -hmm. okay. Game number two is Tekken Seven. Game number three is Street Fighter Five Champion Edition. Game number four is Dragon Ball Fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, game number five is Samurai Showdown. Game number six is Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Game number seven is Soul Calibur Six. And game number eight is Uniclair. Excellent. So, Wait, so they got Mortal Kombat this year? Like got a full roster. Damn, uh, how excited are you? Are you already ready to start They don't have no Mortal Kombat 11? They were really excited about everything. Damn, they, they really don't want Sonic Fox to win another one. This is this is the stuff. This so we got, we, got, we got a big anniversary this year. A big anniversary. It's okay. the 20th anniversary of a game that has been in our tournament in the past that was very popular. <laughs> You, you know what game this is, Mike? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> All right, what game is that? That was me acting. How was my acting skills? Okay. Did well, you believe it? Uh, they no, said a game that's no been in. The only thing, uh, thing I can Marvel think about is Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom 2. 2. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so wow! stupid. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's a big anniversary. We had Marvel hey! like 10 years. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, I've never missed it. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, Hold up. Pause, like, bro. We're something special this year. Why? He's serious. Well, yeah, just it's celebrate the anniversary. anniversary. Okay, right? okay. Oh, we, wait, we hold like up. We retro sometime. Hold up, man. They really have a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 at Evo? Hey, that's some extra shit right there. I kind of. Wait, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I got to power down a little bit. Hold up. I gotta think rationally about this. This is a shock factor. I like it. I love it. But there's an issue with this. Well, first let me get... Oh, hold on. I'm gonna let them get through talking. Okay. I'd like to have it come back. So, That's crazy. Hold up. <laughs> We're doing an eight-man tournament. It's eight man. What? Eight man invitational. Tournament. I can't enter. <laughs> Maybe you got. You got to be good. Oh but, my god. We'll see. I'm furious. So eight man tournament. <laughs> okay. Four of the people. Yeah. Are invited to this tournament, and these okay. four people are the people that have won Evo. Ooh. So that would be Justin Wong. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Multiple times. Yes. That would be Yipes. Yes. He's won. Yipes. Duck Doe. Duck Doe. Yes. He is one, yes. and Sanford Kelly is wow. the fourth one. They're all invited to this invitational at Evo in okay. 2020. Uh, the other four places we'll have to figure out. Maybe it's a tournament at another event. Maybe it's we let the internet kind of fight over who they think they should oh be in. My. We'll definitely have four kind of spots up Ooh. for grabs over the yeah. year, and it's going to be really cool. Okay. Uh, Evo's going to donate at least ten thousand dollars to the pot. Oh. We'll maybe partner with another uh, like money raising thing, and maybe do a compendium where mm. we get certain levels. We'll add more kind of fun stuff to the event, but. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a really, really cool event. That's okay. actually amazing, especially because we can see probably the greatest Marvel 2 player of all time, Roundhouse, uh, compete against some of these tournament legends. I cannot wait to see this. I'm looking forward you know, to it. It's going to be amazing. I've been running E with 20 years. I have yeah. no clue who Roundhouse is. Well, that's just, no you know, you just, you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just don't know, right? Like, I just don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a really cool event. I think a lot of players who came after 2009 with Street mm -hmm. Fighter 4 kind mm -hmm. of missed all the Marvel excitement. Yeah. So it's going to yeah, be really cool did. to show them some old school stuff and how 
Like, yeah, that nerve. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was super. Oh nine, that kind of absolutely hit a no, nerve I'm, with I'm, Mike Ross. I'm obviously super excited for that. That's a that's a shock. <laughs> I didn't, you know. Oh nine, seeing Marvel kind of resurrected. Oh nine like was that, that year. Yeah, it does things. Ooh, boy, and if you was in the round for oh nine. Oh yeah, you know, missed Marvel a lot of beef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> missed a lot of beef. Here's a preview. He got snapped. <laughs> Next match. We'll see like old people like like Sue Mighty come out or oh, wow. or, or Desmond oh, or just wow. some just random people that are like Harry like Potter and no, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> like who knows? Maybe they'll all fight for these other four. Wonder if they got You'll like a really cool event. That's crazy. Well, I'm looking forward to that. That's you got me excited. I did not see that coming. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, Fast kind of area was was very representative of the area of Marvel because mm -hmm. they all sat in the box and they all money matched and they all just got hype and it was really cool to see. Yeah. So we can definitely see if we can bring that back. This year. Fast Looking forward to that. Good stuff, happen. man. Well, I'm excited. When is this happening? Just in case. So, so, so. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. Evo 2020 this year happens July 31st to August 2nd in. And they all money matched and they all just got hype. That's right. <laughs> and we made shirts one year that said the box. Excellent. And people sat in the box and then they money. Next Kind of area was was very rep really cool to see. Yeah. So we're trying to try this year happens. That's right, yeah. <laughs> there we go. From two tournament of champions invitational tournament. Excellent. Make sure you All right, hold on. So they're not having no Marvel versus they're not having no Mortal Kombat eleven this year. They replaced Mortal Kombat eleven with either Grand Blue Fantasy versus or Undernight Inbirth, which I think Undernight Inbirth probably had a better turnout than than uh than Mortal Kombat 11, because really you've been seeing the exact same people win it. Like nine times out of ten, Sonic Fox gonna win it because he's just been dominating every Mortal Kombat tournament since Mortal Kombat went, uh, since like the, the tail end of Mortal Kombat nine, and only a handful of people has been beating them at any given tournament, like the Commonwealth and in other tournaments around the the nation, um. I still think that Tekken Master is Sonic Fox's greatest rival ever because he the only one that got Sonic Fox to take off that damn hat. So he, he get extra points. So that's a that's a trophy in itself. But that, never mind that. So so Mortal Kombat 11 is not making a, an entrance. It's not in the lineup of games this year. That kind of hurts my feelings. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got nine games. Um, and this is a special invitation, invitational. Now I do have a, have to give a shout out to IFC Yipes because he's one of the few people that actually kept Marvel vs. Capcom 2 going during like side tournaments. I don't know if it was at his house or at like a, a private office or whatever like that with friends, but he been running like tournaments where it's like, or at least commentating tournaments for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for like the past couple of years. Like, even, even throughout the time span when Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was forgotten about. Now, a lot of people don't understand why Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was making a comeback, and, they ha and they're not doing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. For the people who not in the loop, out of all the games I named, Marvel, Marvel 2, Marvel 3, and Marvel Infinite, as they're also nicknamed, Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was... A game that had a lot of bad press around it, and only people that played Marvel vs. Capcom three, and I mean only Marvel vs. Capcom three, uh, well Marvel vs. Capcom game, excuse me, was the ones playing Marvel vs. Capcom three. So that game kind of died out quicker than other fighting games at that time, and even less, and, and that's even more so with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite because they went away from the three on three format that Marvel vs. Capcom two made popular, and then they went back to the original. 2v2 format of like the earlier versus games like X-Men Cross Street Fighter Marvel Heroes um, you know the earlier versions of, uh, of these games of these versus games um, and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite died within like what four months of the game coming out like it, it did, I don't even think it made an, an, an entry to Evo that's how unpopular the game got like I think the game was like released in July and then it died out in like before December even got here, it was already a dead game. That's how much that's how much disappointment that game gave. And out of all these games, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, mind you, this game came out on the PlayStation 2. We're in the PlayStation 4 era. Marvel Marvel 3 was PlayStation 3. 
Marvel Infinite was PlayStation 4. So we're going back two generations of consoles for a game to be represented at EVO because this is arguably the best fighting game ever created uh, when you ask a lot of people. Cause, um, and Capcom, they had, when, it came, when it came to the Versus games, they never really capitalized and recaptured that magic that was Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the, in the other installments of Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, such as Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So, this game um, is monumental because throughout the year, I think this game came out in like 2000 what? 2, 2003? What, what, what my phone at? I don't, I don't want to get this wrong. I do not want to get this wrong. I think you really got to understand how big this game is. Okay, so this game came out in February 2000. Now, you got to think about this. A game that was released in February of 2000, that was like a staple in EVO ever since EVO got started, uh, or, or ever since it came out. Um, and then once it, you know, kind of died out, because every fighting game has its, uh, has its time where it dies out, this game was still being ran in, like, side tournaments. Now, what I mean by side tournaments is that they got the main games that get played at these you know, tournaments all over the nation. And Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was always a side tournament. Not advertised, but, you know, as one of the main games. But it still has a good turnout. Because they have a dedicated fan base to it. Because the game is just that great. Um, now, even when Marvel 2 wasn't a top game to be played at all these tournaments. Because of all the new fighting games that came out. The side tournament in the, in the community that supported that game carried on for 20 years non-stop to where they were hosting side tournament events strictly for those in you know the game maintained a strong following even when it wasn't the top game that's just how good of a game it was now here's my issue and this is what i wanted to say for those of you who watch those marvel versus capcom 2 tournaments i'm talking about during like the early days when like when, when it was like east versus west you know um, I mean, it was it, the competition was heavy. Either you was representing the East Coast or you was representing the West Coast. The Midwest and the South kind of got lost in the shuffle. Um, and eventually, I, I know I can say for this for some people in the South, it was like if you was on the East side of the Mississippi River, you was representing the East Coast. If you was rep, if you was on the West side of the Mississippi River, you was representing the the, the West Coast basically. So it was like. That's kind of like the South never really showed up to none of these tournaments like that. Um, plus, this was during the earlier days before the Internet uh, really took off and before people had uh, access to get donations from people and things like that. Unless you were around these local areas and you had a name for yourself to, in order to get donations and get people to come to you and find you in order to donate to you, you wasn't getting no donations and you couldn't really spare the money to travel like that. So... Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 being there is a very big deal because for 20 because I would say for like a good 12, 15 years, the game wasn't even relevant in the main fighting game, you know, amongst the main fighting games, but it maintained relevancy even over the two games that came after it. So much so that they're bringing it back to a 2020, you know, Evo. That's a big, that's a big deal. Now, my only issue with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is this. I've been watching Marvel vs. Capcom 2 tournaments for years. I'm talking about decades. Well, actually, like, you know, pretty much like a decade and a half. Um, and even though they started doing, like, the 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 band tournaments. Now, what I mean by band is that at these Marvel vs. Capcom 2 tournaments, you, you had the char you had you know, a selection of, like, 52 characters in the game. That, it was 52 characters in the game. And... At every tournament, every last single player, with the exception of a few, always picked three or four characters. Because remember I said it was like a three-versus-three three, uh, game. It was a, a 
a three-on-three fighting game. You know, you pick your three people, they pick their three people, and, you know, that's how the matches were ran. And not to mention, the setup was real simple, too. You got to think about it. Everybody's complaining about interfaces and things like that. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 had a very simple system. I mean, it was just like, you know, arcade mode versus mode, training mode, options. That's the only thing you got. <laughs> and, regard and then whatever you picked, it went straight to the character select screen after that. And then you just fought. You know, it didn't have all that fancy stuff. You didn't really need it, you know, um for a game is of that magnitude but um there was four characters that was referred to that was referred to as the four gods because these were like the top four characters and every last damn damn near every last single player played these characters at at evo it wasn't a team like you would be hard pressed to find anybody that at any mo versus capcom 2 tournament uh even even to this day that did not use one of these four characters, right? And that was Cable, Storm, Sentinel, and Magneto. And the reason being because, you know, they got infinites, they got, like, certain setups they can do with them, and, you know, especially with with, uh, with Magneto and Storm, they're basically, like, the same character uh, as far as, with, with, like, the eight-way dash and things like that. Uh, It's just that they were just, you know, eventually, like, you got bored. Because, you you know, with the exception of Justin Wong using Akuma and Wolverine and a few other p p people using Ken and uh, there was a, a couple others using Gambit, it was like 99% of the time you're going to see either any combination of those, of those four that I mentioned. Uh, Cable, Storm, Magneto, and, and uh, Cable, Sentinel, Storm, and Magneto. And it just got boring to watch them. And mind you, I was watching Marvel vs. Capcom 2 tournaments for like nearly like a decade and a half. It was like a good 12, 15 years I've been watching uh, those tournaments. So since this is an invite-only tournament, I'm wondering if they're going to put some special rules in it. Um, Maybe they'll ban, like, because they started doing, like, ban tournaments where they ban, like, the top 10 most used characters in the game in order to give the game some a, a more refreshing feel when people watch it you know what i mean just to get get familiar with the other characters on the roster because for too damn long people have been using the exact same team the same broken characters the same op strategy it's like it's boring and the thing is am i gonna as as as, as exciting and as, and as much of a shock value that that had on me when they announced it all that bad stuff that I didn't like about those tournaments started rushing back in immediately. So I'm just like, am I going to get bored watching this? Because I watch EVO tournaments religiously. Like, I really watch these tournaments. Because I want to see who uh, who's who. But I'm just like... I'm Because four, four of those guys that they announced, I, I, I think it was Justin Long um, and, and those other three, you know, their pet, IFC, Yipes, all of them use that set. Well, Justin Wong, I probably ain't got to worry about picking Cable, you know, Storm, Magneto, or Sentinel, because he actually uses a different team. But the other three, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of seeing Sentinel, Cable, Storm, and Magneto. I'm sick of seeing them. Even all these years later, you mentioned Marvel versus Capcom 2. I don't want to see those four in a tournament, but they're going to show up. And I'm just hoping this tournament ain't just a bunch of Sentinel, Storm, you know, it's 52 characters in the game. You know what I mean? It's like, after all this time, nobody willingly explored the the game so much so that people were bragging, like, last year that this game had so much depth. You know, that I, I think that they had a, a tournament called The Strongest Ever or, like, The... Sh um, it was, like, some tournament named that. And I don't know if Ipes was running, if if uh, Yipes was running that or whatever, but it was like certain some tournaments that had like they had banned restrictions on like the top ten most used characters, including the four that I kept naming, and you had to pick other characters in the roster. You know what I mean? You had to, and that that's exciting to see. Now I finally get to see more teams, but I'm just like, is that gonna? Cause I know the other games I kind of know what to expect from them, with the exception of Undernight Inbirth, uh, Smash Ultimate, 
and and uh Grand Blue Fantasy and Samurai Showdown. The other ones I can kind of guess what's gonna happen, but I well, Marvel versus Capcom two is a definite. I don't want to see those four characters. That's gonna ruin the experience for me, you know. But I'm, I'm kind of glad they brought it back. I think it's only right. It's their anniversary. They needed to do something big, and I'm glad they did that. So that's my that's my take on Marvel versus Capcom two being brought back to Evil twenty twenty. I just don't. I want, I wish they would just put some type of restriction on something. I, but then again, they're bringing it back for an anniversary, so I'm pretty sure they're going to let the the champions pick who they want to pick. I don't see why they wouldn't. But at the same time, do we have to pick Sentinel, Storm, Magneto, Sentinel, Storm, Magneto, Cable? I don't want to see those four characters. I just don't want to see them. Hell, at this point, I don't want. I don't even want to see Iron Man and War Machine. You know what I mean? Like, give me some variety, just please. Give me something else. But that's neither here nor there, man. Um, I think uh, it's, it's a big wow factor. I like the lineup. It's kind of a shame that Mortal Kombat 11 didn't make the cut this year. Maybe because they wanted to give Undernight in Birth a chance and Grand Blue Fantasy is going to be out, you know, mo- like a, a few months before EVO. Um, and then when you look at it, a lot of the people that play Mortal Kombat 11, they play Dragon Ball Fighters, but not everybody that plays Dragon Ball Fighters plays Mortal Kombat 11. So they kind of like figure that out of all the games mentioned, Mortal Kombat 11 wasn't worth investing time into this year. I'm pretty sure it's going to come back next year, um, especially with the release of Spawn. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has like one more good year in it, unless they release a, a Combat Pack 2, which I'm pretty sure they will. Um. Yeah, man, that's my take on the game. Um, on on the Evo lineup, I think it's good, but it has me worried a little bit. But I know for a fact that Grand Blue Fantasy and Undernight Inverse are gonna be hype. And if they don't share during Dragon Ball Fighter when Cell shows up on the screen, on Bardock, it ain't Evo. With that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Uh, Yeah, see you guys later. I'm out.